from yesterday, I'm up to 11. As the months of solitude passed, I began to go insane. It seemed my prison cell was getting smaller and... <gasps> Put me back in the womb! Boy, <laughs> it sure is great being thin and popular. Hey, Dad! Let's go whack some moles! Nah, Chris, we're not here for fun. And your mom is counting on us to drop off the deposit. Ah, oh, man. Hey, Dad! They even got games in the bathroom! Look, I want a balloon! Hey! Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Hey, I'm a paying customer. Look, I got a deposit check for my kid's birthday party right here. Oh, Mr. Griffin. Oh, I am terribly sorry. We're really looking... Chris, this is a big day for you. Today, you become the man of the house, because when we get home, your mother is going to kill me. ...of mercenaries. I must prepare for my journey. I need grenades, a mace, a packet full of Cheerios... So are we all set at cheesy? Welcome to Cheesy Charlie's. Hi, they also get food, cake, and your choice of ice cream flavors. Vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, or people. What was that last one? Chocolate. Now give me the check. Hold it, pal. Lois may have had her heart set on this place, but I love... You know how hard it was to get a reservation at Cheesy Charlie's? I had to book at the day of my ultrasound. We'll never find another place in time. Oh, for once, it was all gonna be so perfect. Oh! Here. You don't have any of those things. How do you know? Peter, face it, you're a terrible liar. <laughs> ah, it was you. Jolene, I've got an army to raise and I must get to Nicaragua. I require a window seat and an in-flight Happy Meal. And no pickles! Oh, God help you if I find pickles. Henry, I have a lost little boy. Rafty swine. You P.S. <laughs> Little bastards ain't as smart as... Ah! Friends forever. Forever and ever. <laughs> wow, what a great yard. Guess what, Mom? Jennifer invited me to a party on Saturday. This Saturday? It's birthday? Oh, sure, I can do that. Y you do children's parties? Oh, yeah, I can do like a handstand and some somersaults, maybe. I, I can make pretend like the children are little bugs in my web. Facing your problems head on. Hmm, the ruptured capillaries in your nose belie the clarity of your wisdom. You're saying I must return to face this man in white myself. So be it. For this trick, did you ask your mother? Yes. Okay, then. Have fun, sweetheart. Oh, thanks, Daddy. <laughs> Brian Stewie's birthday is gonna suck. The only stuff I could get on such short notice was a cake and that... white guy who's threatened by change. Oh, Peter, this is the most wonderful celebration I could have imagined. Uh, hey, where's Stewie? He's upstairs, resting up for his big day. Did you let her go? Jeez, what's a big deal? So makes one of new friends. They seem like a nice bunch of kids. I'm so glad you could join us, Meg. We're gonna have a great time on our trip. <laughs> Hey, birthday dude, you want some ice cream? Yes, but no... Peter, the circus is terrific. But it's not just Stewie's birthday. We're also celebrating the day our family became whole. Today means nothing if Meg isn't here. Been castrated? It's cool! Hey, do you think that girl is hot? No! Me neither. <laughs> hey, you, hit me. Yeah, now if I can just... There are some amongst you whose motor skills are not yet developed. Sadly, you will be used as decoys. But your children's children will know that you fell for a noble cause. Now, who's with me? Ducky? Is Meg a wise one? Can she come with us? Perhaps. Do you have a mind that seeks enlightenment and a heart that seeks purity? Well, not really. Okay. Are you a con- oh, Meg, there you are. Oh, Dad, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm so embarrassed I could die. Hey, hey, not before the rest of us. Meg, your mother wants the fam family. Really? Oh, Daddy, you must think I'm the worst daughter ever. Oh, no, you're not, honey. What about that fat girl from the judge? I'm sorry, I've been so selfish. Ah, oh, sorry, Meg. I guess that's another bunch of people who'd rather fake their own death than go to a party with you. Children, the time of ascension has arrived. Oh, for the love of God. But the birthday cake. 
right here. Meg. I'm sorry, Mom. Oh, thank you, Peter. No problem. I cannot wait to taste this cake. The guy who sold it to me said it was... Uh -huh. Greetings, man in white. I've been expecting you. Who said that? Peekaboo, I see you. Hey, has anybody seen Stewie? Yeah, where is the birthday boy? Victory is mine! Yes, and this cake is yours, too. Hey, Stewie, make a wish. Middle-aged body likes more than explosive movements. Now, remember, we're here to impress the girlfriends of guys we barely know. So when you get the ball, throw it like a cannon. You must throw your arm out on every play. Any other softball-related questions? Yeah, I got a question. Can we leave our bad for... Don't get any ideas about Julio. I'm his number one. Here comes Goldman's Pharmacy. Hey, Goldman's Pharmacy, can you fill out a prescription for us? Come on, Jerome, get a hit so I can bring a sports trophy home for my parents. Jeffrey Lipschitz has two soccer medals. I can't play soccer. I have newborn camp ankles. You know this, damn it. Peter, why do you look so nervous? Yeah, I promised a kid in the hospital I'd hit a home run for him. Sorry, I struck out looking. Wait, you're not the kid. You're out of the baseline, by the way. You're out. Game's over. But, oh, my God, Horace is really hurt. He's dead. <gasps> oh, no, oh, my God. God. Let him rest in peace. <sighs> Let's put some leaves on him. Like when you're the only one at the table where the waiter doesn't say good order. I'll have the halibut. Ah, great choice. One of the chef's specialties. You'll love it. It was caught fresh less than 10 miles from here. I'll have the New York strip steak. Mmm, my absolute favorite dish here. It is a... When you lose... <laughs> um, there's so... There's so much... There's so much... You... We'll remember you Will you remember me? Don't let your love... Toilet. Oh, here, let me help you with that. Ah. There you go. Now you're all set for your big day. Thanks. You know, I could use some part-time help here preparing the bodies if you're interested. Really? Turn this zero into a one. All right! Nichols, you should go home and change. What the hell? Hey, pal, what are you doing? This is our bar. Not anymore. Horace owed more than this place is worth. So it's the banks now. I'm... I mean, as long as we got a place to drink and a restroom for businessmen to have homosexual encounters. Hey, thanks for the sex. Thank you for notarizing those documents. Peter, what's going on down here? Why are there beer bottles all over the floor? Meg, I'm needed upstairs, so I'll let you finish up. Just put some blush here and here. It makes the eyes look a little less dead and hollow. Wow, that really works. Hmm, maybe I'll try that on myself. Oh, uh, would you stop being so uptight? You're like one of those Asian Americans who fought in Vietnam. Ah! Oh, it's just me. Hi, Peter. But I thought you was working on your garbage sculpture. There was someone I had to see first. Sorry, Amanda. By the law of 80s movies, a newly transformed... Squeeze through that window. Not even locked. And all the booze is still in there. Come on, guys. This is trespassing and it's against the law. Maybe we should just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our family. Good day, gentlemen. Welcome to the drunken clam. Can I get you boys a mug of stout? Why, certainly. This is a bully establishment you've got here. The doors are a little short, but that's okay because we're smaller back now. To the... You do to ladies and we, we promise we never tell you. What? To the clam! Yo, oh, you, what? Your hair looks stupid. All, all the greatest, all the greatest moments of my life. I spelled I'll explode. I'm gonna. You do it better than Bonnie. It takes a man to know what a man likes. You idiot! Where is the dead body? I know you took it. And don't lie, or I'll tell Jennifer Connelly that you're the one who's been mailing her those dog heads. Well, yes, I'd like to mail this to a whore. Okay, fine, Meg. I used the body to get me into R-rated... Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, but for the next ten minutes, I'll be very vulnerable to predators. 
Mountain lion, make yourself look big. We interrupt this program for a Channel 5 breaking news report. Three local men have barricaded themselves inside a Quahog bar and are currently in a standoff with authorities. We now go live to Joyce Kinney, who attended her sister's wedding last night. Thanks, Tom. Minute. I'm sorry, guys, but it's my job. I got a family to support. That jerk! How could he desert us? Relax, Quagmire. He's just doing his job. You'll forgive him. Just like Kathleen Turner forgave her mirror. Sorry. Turns out you were right about me. It's okay. She only knows where the decoys are. Swanson, there you are. Listen, you hang out at this dump. I want you to go in there and end this thing. I'll do my best, sir. Hey! We love Joe! Swanson, what the hell's going on in here? I'm sorry, Chief. I just can't let him bulldoze this building. Hey, Joe, is this the same Chief whose wife is a real hog? Swanson, don't be a fool! Lacrosse, which is also my brother's name. Look, I feel bad about what I did to Horace, so when I heard on the news that they were tearing down this bar, I saw buying it as a way to carry on Horace's legacy. So I own the clan now.